Welcome to the Lippert Technical Institute. I'm Charlie and I'll be your technical trainer. Today we'll be covering the waterfall bathroom faucet and its installation, operation, maintenance, and troubleshooting. Here we have it unboxed. Now I wanted to draw your attention to the parts that make up the faucet. Now here we have two braided metal lines, one for cold water and one for hot. And then we have our metal collar here with two screws in it and a metal washer. Also, you'll see a, a rubber washer as well. Now, lastly, we have our lever here that will turn the water on and off and change the temperature from hot to cold. Now we can take a look at the tools necessary to install it on your RV. For this installation, you'll need a wireless drill, a flashlight, a Phillips screwdriver, adjustable wrenches, tape measure, a pencil to draw lines with. Now you'll also need a one and a half inch hole saw, a bucket, and safety glasses. Now let's head out to the RV and get started. Depending upon the uniqueness of your sink and faucet combination will dictate where you actually drill your hole. So for in our instance, we have a center drain sink here. So we're going to measure over and make a mark right in the center. And that for our 14 inch is obviously seven inches here. And now the uniqueness of our faucet will dictate that we measure back as we're trying to get that exact flow from the spout of the faucet that goes right down the drain. I'll make that inch and a half measurement and that will be our center mark for our hole. Now that we have that marked out, we're gonna take this drawer out and get our safety glasses on. The one and a half inch hole saw to cut your hole. If you're replacing a faucet instead of adding a brand new one, first you're going to need to shut off the water supply to the faucet. Then what you're going to do is you're going to turn on the faucet and then turn it back off. That's going to relieve the pressure in the lines. Then you're going to bring in a bucket or a suitable container depending upon the space you're actually installing the faucet so you can catch the water that drains out when you open them up. Then you're going to disconnect the mounting hardware from the faucet and remove it from either the sink or the countertop, depending upon which install you have. Once that faucet is removed, make sure that the area that you're going to put the new faucet in is dry and free of debris. Now the first step in installing your faucet is to remove your metal collar from the faucet itself. So we'll unscrew that, leaving the two screws inside the metal collar and removing them from the lines. And set that aside and also do it for the metal washer as well. Same thing, set that aside. Now, now that you have the metal collar and the metal washer off, insert it into the pre-drilled hole in your countertop, pushing that all the way down where that rubber seals against the countertop. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take the metal washer and the metal collar and slide those over your hot and cold lines. Now, making sure that these Phillips screws are flush inside the metal collar we're going to go ahead and slide those on.
Okay, good. Now that the faucet's there, we're going to take a Phillips screwdriver and tighten those Phillips screws to tighten the coupler up against the countertop. Now that we have the faucet secured to the countertop, we're gonna go ahead and secure your cold and hot lines to the existing lines on the RV. Now this particular instance, we can hand tighten these to the existing lines. However, you might need an adjustable wrench. Now you can go ahead and turn the water back on and check for leaks. Now let's clean everything up, put our drawer back in, and head back to the classroom, and we'll talk about maintenance and troubleshooting. Next, let's talk about troubleshooting. Vibrations can cause an awful lot of problems with an RV's plumbing when you're driving up and down the road. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do if you see any of these problems is you're going to tighten up all the hardware in the plumbing lines. Now for maintaining your faucet, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you clean the faucet periodically with a soft cloth. Now, what you don't wanna do is use harsh chemicals, steel wool, or abrasive cleaners. This concludes the Better Bath Faucet aftermarket installation video.